In this video series about formidable forms, I've shown you how to do a number of things, but there's no way I could show you everything that formidable can do in a short series like this. It would take many dozens of videos. So I want to show you where to get more information. The support section here on formidable forms is really great. Here's a section on how to get started and you don't have to go to a page and come back if it's not the one you want. They list out what's available right here on this page and you can just skip from one to the other. Um, and so you can go to examples of views and there's how to add events to a Google calendar with if this, then that, how to set up comments, how to add star ratings, all that stuff. Uh, it's all here and it's readily available. You can submit support requests. They ask if you are using formidable yet or if you're using the light version, if you use the pro version, they do ask if it's for, if it's your own copy or if, if it's for someone else. So like in my case, I'm a developer. I am not building my own site with formidable. I'm using my client's license. And so that allows me to indicate that I am a developer and then uh, they can narrow down what you're asking support for. There's one more great resource back here on this support page. I want to show you the release change log. I love reading change logs because they always teach me new things about what's possible. For example, here's a change log entry from February 25th, 2021, and it indicates that products are now translatable with WPML. I didn't know that that was even a thing. And now I do just because I read the change log. If you read for a normal release, you can see that now there's a screen reader text next to the star rating field options to make it more accessible. Accessibility is a big deal for your website. It needs to be accessible for people who don't see well or uh, can't use their hands at all or things like that. Um, and then there's things that, that get fixed. So if you've been having a problem when there's a new release, check it out and you can see. Um, this also indicates how often there's a new release. So this is March 4th. There's February 25, February 16, another one on February 16, uh, February 15, February 10, February 8. So you can see they're regularly releasing new stuff. Uh, that gives you some idea of how often you can see bug fixes and features. And you should check out the change log for every plugin you use and just see how often there are new releases that can help you understand when you can expect fixes and changes. So one more thing I want to show you is the blog full of excellent information. Again, this gives me ideas for things that I never even thought of building. And it greatly spurs my creativity for what I can do with the plugin. There's a great, great one right down here for table data. I would not have thought of using a forms plugin to build tables. Now, granted, formidable isn't building the table, but it ties in great with a table plugin. So if we come down here, you can see there's a plugin called sortable tables and it allows you to make a great table like this. So if you click sortable table, it takes you right to a knowledge base where it tells you exactly how to do it. I would never have thought to do this, but it is a great idea to put your data into a sortable searchable table. So be sure to check out the blog, check out the knowledge base. Don't be afraid to ask support. They're very prompt. They're very intelligent. They know what they're doing. They can help you solve problems that you have. And that wraps up my series on formidable forms. I hope it was useful for you. I hope that you can go forth and build amazing forms.